Hello guys, this is Boris and today I want to show you the new version of Direct Take. Uh, thanks for you guys for your feedback that you gave us on the Blackmagic forum. It helped us a lot. A lot of new features were added by your requests. So I hope you will enjoy it. If you're a new guy and have no idea what the hell am I talking about, then don't worry. In this video I'll go through the main Direct Take features real quick so you will have an idea uh, what you can use the Direct Take for. Uh, okay, let's start from the first use case, it's capturing. You can use the, the direct take for capturing of your live source uh, to file. Uh, right here I have my first uh, declick as device device initialized for the input, but I'll go through the whole chain to start from the very beginning to show you how it works. Okay, uh, the first thing that you need to do to start capturing is uh, initialize the device. I will press this plus button to add a new tab that we call channel uh, and choose the device uh, over here. Then you need to choose the way you plan to use it for. Will it be input or the output? Uh, if this device is can be used just for the input, it will be marked over here. Uh, so I will uh, use my decklink SDI2, second input, uh, the SDI line and the file format. Uh, well, basically that's it. After it, you can press OK and start receiving your stream. Uh, but we have added a couple of new features by your requests right here. The first one is the LTC timecode support. Uh, if you have an LTC generator in your studio and you want to synchronize the recording, on separate machines using the LTC timecode. Uh, you can pick the LTC input over here. It can be microphone or any other audio input on your sound card. And in this case, uh, your original timecode will be replaced with the LTC one received from this source. Um, I don't have the LTC generator right now, so I will not use the LTC right now. And another cool thing is the external audio usage, possibility to use the external audio. What is this th feature? Uh, this feature allows me to use the original Decklink SDI audio uh, together with my external audio like microphone or any other uh, external audio device that you have in your system. Uh, to enable this feature, I will choose my microphone over here pick the channels uh, that I will set my external audio for. Well, and that's it. Right here, I have my channels map. I will disable those channels and keep only four of them. So the original Declic SDI audio will be on zero and first channel and my microphone audio will be on two and three channel. You see that it's marked as external right here. Well, that's it. Let's press OK to initialize the device. Here it goes. Oh, let's disable the audio to stop that echo. Okay, that's it. My device is working and you see that there are four channels over here. The first two is the original SDI audio and these two picks are for my microphone. The device is initialized and it's working and I can start the capturing right now. To start the capturing, the first thing that I need to do is choose the proper file format over here choose the video encoder, the audio encoder, and choose the file name. I will write my file to let it be T1. Well, that's it. Now I'll press this button and the capture is started. Right here, you can see the statistic of my uh, capturing. And right here, there is a list of my captured files. So all files that I capture will be listed over here. Even if I will stop the capturing, change the file name and continue the capturing, you see that this is my first captured file and this is the second. Uh, the new thing that we have just added is possibility to preview these captured files right from this list. You can open it, open it in uh, Windows Explorer and you can also preview it by pressing this button. That's it. I'll disable the audio. Uh, this is my captured file. I can play it back over here, can 
uh, look through it back and forth, can set the input and output points. And another cool thing that I can do here is output it to the external monitor using the device that I have over here. Um, this feature is really nice when you're playing with direct take and directs in your studio and want to demonstrate the capturing captured file on the external monitor. You can pick your output device over here and everything that you hear that you see over here will be transmitted to the external monitor too. Well, really cool feature. Okay, let's disable those output, stop it. And one more nice, really nice point is that I can preview not only the fi finalized file that is already captured, but also the file that is being captured right now. This T2 file is being captured right at the moment, but I still can open it for the preview. That's it. And play just like any other file. Play it, output the external device, um, do whatever I want to. Well, that's it for the capturing and for the preview. Uh, that's very simple capturing of a single source. Uh, but let's imagine that you need to capture uh, your single source into separate file formats. For example, a high quality, high bitrate uh, file for the archive and another low bitrate file for your website. Um, that's absolutely not a problem. We have added new multi-capturing feature right here. You see this button? I'll press it to go to multi-capturing mode. Here it goes. You see that um, this is the file picker, the format picker control, just like on the main tab. But I can press this button and add any number of these controls right here. So uh, this is my format pickers and I will uh, pick separate formats for each of them. Let the first one be MP4 and I'll set it to T3. Oops. Here it goes. Um, this one will let it be MOV and T4. And this one, I don't know, maybe back transport stream and uh, T5. Here it goes. Everything is ready to start capturing and all you need to do is press this button. That's it. You see the status is running and over here in my list I, I, see, I can see those uh, three new files that are being recorded into MP4, MOV and TS. So now my stream is being captured into three separate formats at the same time. And I remind you that uh, those channels are totally independent. So while I'm capturing those three files over here, I can do whatever I want to with this tab too. So I can set, I don't know, T7 over here and start capturing here too. Here it goes. Those tabs are absolutely independent. Uh, we have also added the possibility to uh, change the tab position of your tabs and rename it by double click over here. So uh, it makes the usage a bit more friendly. And you can see also that there is a mark um, on each tab demonstrating that it's used for input or for the output. So I have now two tabs on the, for the input and there are two those in marks on these tabs. Uh, so that's it for uh, multiple formats capturing for a single tab. Let's stop it and go to the main capturing form. And there is another really cool capturing mode which allows you to capture all your input tabs at the same time. Let's imagine that you have uh, three cameras or two cameras in your studio and you need to start capturing for those two cameras at the same time and stop capturing at the same time exactly. Well, uh, let's uh, think first, let's think what we need to do. Stop them at the same time or stop them uh, one by one when we need to. 
If you if you want to stop them at the same time, we will go to the settings tab and check out this uh, checkbox. Sync stop for all tabs. I want to stop them at the same time, so I will put this sync stop flag on and uh, go to my configuration tab. Configuration uh, uh, controls for my tabs and prepare everything for sync capturing. I will set uh, the file names, let it be T10. Uh, this will be T11. And I will keep those formats just like, like they are, but you can set any format that you like, that you want to. Make sure that they are not capturing right now. And after that, I can go over here and press all tabs sync multi-capturing. That's it, here it goes. Pressing of this menu uh, point will start the sync capturing of all my tabs at the same time. <clears throat> so right now, uh, all these controls are disabled as I picked the sync stop to, and all my tabs are captured in sync. So when I'll press this sync stop for all tabs button, I will have uh, two files recorded for my first and second inputs recorded absolutely at the same time that were st started and stopped at the same time. Uh, well, that's it for the recording. Uh, as you see, it's really flexible and you can use it in a different way for the content recording. Uh, the next thing that you can do with direct take is output stream from it. Uh, Let's open the new tab, just like we did before. Choose the device we want to output stream to. Let it be Declink SDI 3. Choose the type output and just press OK. Here it goes. You see there is a playlist over here. I can choose the background. It can be color bars, maybe some color, a media file playlist or some live source or whatever you want to. And now everything you see over here is being outputted to my Blackmagic SDI 3. So uh, you can use it for the playout, for uh, playing out your playlist, playing out files. Uh, you can use these buttons to add a file, add a live source. By the way, you can add uh, the live source even if it is already used on some other tabs like this. Uh, when you add a live source, you can also use a LTC timecode, external audio. You can also uh, set a transition for this playlist item. Uh, set an audio gain, and also there is an M delay feature that allows you to delay your M live for some specific number of seconds. But I will not use it now. Well, I will and here is my playlist item my TakeLink SDI device. I can also drop over here the URL, render the URL, including the YouTube URLs, uh, add a playlist, some bunch of files that is already recorded. Um, I can also add uh, image sequence, add existing tab content. For example, here is my first and second tab. I can just mark this tab to be used on the input of this tab. Here it goes. Uh, I can also save, save and load the playlist, and I can just uh, drop some files uh, directly from my drag and drop them from the uh, Windows Explorer over here. So this is how it works. Uh, and just start the playback. Here you see the timeline that we have added. You see that it changes and it shows you where are you, where are you now and uh, when the next item will be started. Uh, each playlist item can be uh, opened in, a pre in this property window that we have modified it to. You can use this as a trimmer to set the input and output point of this file. Uh, you can set some specific uh, 
parameters like loop file, set the audio track, video track, uh, crop this file if you want to show just a part of it, uh, set the transition that will be used when the playlist switches to these files, uh, set some specific behavior, for example, pause on the first frame of this item or stop on the start. Uh, and just preview this item to make sure that it's, play, that it's played back correctly. Mm, well, that's it. That's the playout mode. And right now, everything I can see over here is being outputted to my uh, TechLink SDI 3 output. Uh, well, that's it for the output, and there is one more really cool mode that we have added by your request. Let's press this plus to open the new tab. It is the playback mode. Uh, you can use this mode if you don't have the devices that can work for the output. Let's press OK. And right here I have just the same playlist that I have over here my output to the device uh, but in this case you can just uh, preview this playlist on your uh, preview on your notebook uh, monitor or on your PC monitor uh, and also you can stream it to the network works just like the write the file writing so you can pick the uh, streaming type over here, set the video and audio encoders, uh, specify the destination URL over here, and press start recording button to start streaming. Uh, well, basically that's it for the uh, capturing modes, for the, for the capturing and playback modes. Uh, well, there is still one really useful feature that we have added by your request too, is MultiView. What is MultiView? Let's press this button. MultiView allows you to track your tabs, at the, all your tabs at the same time. So over here, I can see all my tabs, I can see the uh, input streams, I can see what's going on, I can see the status, and I can also start the capturing over here. Let's press the over right, and here it goes. You see that I can start and stop capturing right on this preview. I can also uh, start the playback and stop it. I can control each my tab. Basic control, very basic control is available over here in my preview mode. Uh, really useful if you have a bunch of input channels and you want to track them at the same time. You want to see what's going on on each channel. You want to see the status of each channel at the same time. This is the multi-view. Uh, you can rearrange those preview windows. Uh, sorry, it doesn't look really cool, but uh, you can still do it if you want to. Uh, you can restore the positions to original. Uh, you can still start all tabs sync multi capturing over here. Uh, you can also rearrange them in the way you want it to. Like I, I want them all one under another. Looks ugly, so I will not use it anymore. Restore it to original positions. Here it goes. This is the multi view. Let's go back to the default view. And that's it. Well, basically, guys, this is the main features of the new DirectTake. This is the main features that you can use the DirectTake for. Uh, go play around with it. Check some cool settings that we have added over here. Uh, we have also added some hotkeys that you can specify and use. Uh, play around with it and tell us what do you think about this new version. Uh, well, we'll be happy to get any feedback from you guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry for that really long video. I know that everyone hates long videos, but uh, there are a lot of new features that I had to tell you about. Okay, see you guys.